everybody. Uh, today we're going to talk about triple net leases, why they're awesome, and what it is that we did at 421 South Huntington Street at this property here. Welcome to the Ben Plickard Podcast. Ben is a hardworking, fun-loving guy that loves to balance lots of plates. Whether or not he's good at it, that's another story. Ben grew up in Syracuse, Indiana, and as an entrepreneur, he has learned the right, wrong, and really wrong way to do things. Ben often says he has multiple PhDs in mistakes. Join us on another interesting story on why Ben is the way he is, what he has learned the hard way, or what a day in the life of an entrepreneur is really like. No episode will ever be the same. Thanks for tuning in. So we bought 421 South Huntington Street uh, about a year ago in 2023. Uh, we bought it with no, we had no idea what we were going to do with it. Uh, we just decided to put it up for sale, put it up for lease, see if somebody was interested in it. We had no desire to really do anything. We thought about putting some apartments in it. We thought about putting some retail in it. Uh, nothing that our businesses would benefit from. So we just opted to just put it up for, for sale, put up for lease and see what comes of it. Uh, about uh, a month ago, we had a tenant that reached out to us, uh, a potential tenant that was interested in putting a uh, 24 hour day, uh, seven day a week convenience store at this location. I didn't know what to think about that. So I went to look at the uh, other places that they rent in the area. Was very impressed, uh, very clean, and very, uh, very, very well done. So I thought, well, let's let's do it. And uh, one thing led to another. We started negotiating. Our broker really did a good job um, from Sturgis. And they negotiated a deal, which believe it or not, is a triple net lease. And a triple net lease basically means they pay a lower amount uh, per month for that lease uh, square footage, but they take care of all property expenses, the utilities, the property taxes, uh, everything, insurance, and plus then they pay their uh, overhead, uh, which would be their monthly lease. So I basically will rent this building out to them I have to do a couple things. I have to replace this door. I have to build some new steps uh, so, so that way they're ADA handicap uh, accessible. So that'll be that'll be something that we'll have to do, uh, but it's really exciting. We're gonna uh, replace out the lights on the inside, knock down some fake walls, but I'm pretty darn excited about uh, the possibility of what we're gonna do in here. And uh, let me show you what uh, what all we have to, to, make, to make this into a triple net lease. So on the outside, uh, we've got to fix this uh, siding that's come loose. It's actually sitting up there. It just needs to be reattached. We're going to replace this uh, door, fix this deck. Uh, we're going to put in a handicap. We'll close off these uh, broken uh, cellar windows. Uh, we'll cap those off. Kind of clean up the uh, old security cameras on the building. Uh, we'll get rid of this old deer contraption uh, that he had rigged up to weigh deer and I don't know what else, but regardless, we're going to clean all this up. The windows will stay the exact same. On this side, we're really not going to do anything at all. Oh, there we go. So let me show you inside. So as you come in uh, right now, this has uh, old uh, particle board that uh, he put up on walls. And that is how we're delivering this unit. We are going to paint the ceilings because it was, this building was smoked in for years and it definitely has a, uh, a tar stains on it. These walls here are all uh, false walls. So they are all going to come out. This is uh, a little kitchen area. This is all gonna come out. We've already started taking out all of the um, cabinets, the stove all of that has come out this bathroom that's here this is all going to come out as well there's a bunch of like nails and stuff like that that will hammer down staples from the old floor we give them this floor as is 
they'll put a brand new floor in. I don't know if they're gonna paint the walls or not. We'll put in new fluorescent lights in this section. And uh, this front area is what they will use for their retail uh, convenience store. So that wall won't be there, this wall won't be there. This was an old bedroom, this won't be there. The only thing that's gonna stay is this, this bathroom and uh, everything else will be a uh, retail uh, convenience store area. So there's a lot of possibilities. This has a full basement underneath, but uh, they're not going to use the basement. I don't, uh, I don't know what they're planning in, uh, to do, but I know that this is gonna be a 10 year lease for us. This they're gonna just use as storage. Uh, we're still cleaning things out of here. Uh, we're gonna fill in this, this uh, hole that's here, replace this broken window. Uh, these are some things that we told them that we would do prior to them taking over uh, the unit. So there's a lot of space in this building. Uh, we're going to take all this uh, contraption stuff down and uh, basically uh, get all of our stuff out of here that we want to keep in the building. And then everything else is just going to get uh, left as is. This is the first time I've, uh, we as a company, uh, me, we've ever had a true triple net lease. Before we've kind of bundled out the utilities together, bundled the, the some of the taxes together, and and things like that. But this truly, they pay the county for the for the taxes. They'll pay their own insurance company. They pay the utility companies direct. They pay the the city for water and sewer direct. We have nothing to do with it. In fact, we don't even have utilities turned on here. They will establish utilities and turn those on. So it's really, really great investment. Uh, the, the property, their rent is obviously a little bit lower, but in exchange, we don't have to do anything. And this just becomes a property that is a passive income. I'm sure you've heard of that word before, but I'll go into those in some other uh, podcasts on why uh why passive income is is amazing but that's what we're doing at this property is going to make that into a triple net lease the lease got signed today so i'm pretty excited and hopefully they take possession uh june 15th providing that we can get all of our stuff done get the walls knocked out get the ceiling painted new lights put in so we're pretty darn excited about uh, the possibilities so we have a lot of a lot of work to do but i'm pretty excited to see when it's all said and done how it's going to look so once again, triple net lease, it's extremely great for the landowner, the property owner, the, the person that is renting the building. It's a great deal for them too, because they're, they get a much lower cost uh, for their lease, but they, they, they have complete control. What's been great about this particular lease when we negotiate it, they're even responsibility. If there's something that happens to the roof, they actually have to take care of it. If there's something that happens to the heating and cooling system, they have to take care of it. They wanted this building so bad. They actually wanted a 15 to 20 year lease, but uh, I was not comfortable going that far. And uh, yeah, we still have the building and I believe we're still gonna have it for sale, but we're only going to accept it if it's a great offer. And then the people, the, the way it's written is the people that have, that will be leasing this building, they will have for op first option to buy it. R reality is somebody that's coming in to buy something that has a long-term tenant, they're buying that because they have a long-term tenant and they want that passive income as well. So whether or not we keep this or we sell it out, cash it out, that's 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 not for uh for this time uh and it boils down to what's going to help me tax wise in the long term so it's great this is what a triple net lease is uh it's different than a standard lease that you might find somewhere else but a triple net lease versus uh just a regular lease the regular lease they take care of uh just paying the lease and then a triple net lease is they pay the lease plus this and this and this and this and this Plus, they take care of all the, the maintenance on the property as well. So it's pretty exciting. I can't tell you who it is yet. I can't tell you the name of the company or anything like that. But it's definitely exciting that this is going to be, a, a, I believe, a great asset for Syracuse and for a very long time. And I believe that this is going to have a lot of foot traffic constantly, which is great. And uh, thanks, for, uh, thanks for watching. And let me explain what a triple net lease is. And uh, uh, make sure to uh, uh, subscribe to this video. If you have questions, make sure to uh, put them in the comments. Uh, I uh, pretty much always respond to comments. So thanks so much.